first tropical cyclone of the Western Pacific has now strengthened into Typhoon Malacas. Now a category 1 as of the latest ATCF fix, currently situated at 14.2 degrees north and 135.7 degrees east and is expected to stay out at sea during its entire track. At 11pm local time in Palau, the storm has winds of 75 miles an hour and a pressure of 978 millibars moving north northwest at 12 miles an hour and we do not have a CDPS day trading due to it remaining in the open water of the Pacific Basin. Moving on to the wind fields, it had tropical for storm force winds extend 110 miles to the northeast, 120 miles to the southeast, 150 miles to the southwest and no trace of storm force winds were marked in the northwest. No warnings are in effect due to the storm not affecting land at any time, but it's 432 miles from Palau, 588 from Guam, 758 from Surigao City, 850 from Cebu City, and 1013 from the capital of the Philippines, Manila. Heading over to the intensity estimates from the agencies in the region, both AETs seem to stand for points at 55 miles an hour while JMA and Pegasus keep it at 65 and the latest 12C fix from the ATTF or well JTWC have it at category 1 status which is what we're following to this moment. Here's a track forecast from the JTWC, they expect the storm to start moving northeast and slowly intensify and peak as the category 3 in the middle of the western pacific before it starts to weaken as it interferes colder seas of temperatures. Speaking of which, here are the seas of temperatures, 28 to 26 degrees Celsius waters around the system, which will definitely fuel it until it reaches the far northern part of the ocean and get around 20 degrees water. Here's the HWRF model run showing it strengthening up to category 2 to category 3 status quite clearly. And the rain swath showing around 600 millimeters to fall in the storm's vicinity, but again, it's out of sea and won't deliver as much rain anywhere. Model comparisons look like this. Model consensus has Manaka spe uh, peaking between category 2 and category 3, H4 even reaching into category 4, which is a little outlandish. And other computer models like the LGM have it as a high end category 1 by April 13. Shear is starting to drop. Uh, creating a gap for the storm to quickly strengthen, but in the latter part of the run, it will skyrocket. And the track forecast is what the models also agree on, besides the HWRIF further east and the JTWC have it further west. And ending it with, here with the satellite imagery, uh, seeing how the center of circulation is starting to be covered by new convective burst, and also seeing its semi-large semi influence is partially to be seen here. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates, and until next time.